daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today, a spring training matchup between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Philadelphia Phillies. And here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. Dero, what's your take on this team today? Well, Matt, the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runner stranded. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer, And we are ready for some daytime baseball. one delivery now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field Williams looks up gone so it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game as the Rays move out on top one to nothing Baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys that would just draw walks and steal bases? But that's not the case anymore. Guys like this, they have pop in their bat. They can go deep. No outs, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. This pitch is popped up. Knee high, he barehands it in time. Batting third, the catcher number 40, Wilson Ramos. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Wilson Ramos. Hit out towards second. And there's out number two. Batting fourth, first baseman number 44, C.J. Crone. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, C.J. Crone. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hey. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Count now a ball and a strike. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Ranging back is Herrera. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo home run for C.J. Crone as the Rays move in front now two to nothing. Well it's very early but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Herrera's there. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. So they get a couple of runs on two hits. No errors and no one left aboard. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Tampa Bay leads this one two to nothing. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Mark DeRosa tell us a little bit more about this lineup. Well Matt this lineup finds themselves down two runs nothing crazy everyone relax stay within the game plan find a way to execute and get one run on the board and get back in this popped him up but this will land untouched. Wind up and the 0 1 up around the face. The 1 1 hit back up the middle and that finds its way through for a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up. The and if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Up next will be Nick Williams. 
Line to the right side. But a foul ball. Herrera aboard here at first with nobody out. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summerskill at third, and he says no swing, so it's ball one. Soft liner towards short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Batting third, second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He'll swing it from the left side right here. He's set and the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Runner at first here, one man out. Ball one. Slow roller back to the mound. He'll throw back to second to get the out, and that's going to be all they get. Boy, a risky play there, but it pays off. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Back up the middle, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Obvious pitch recognition right there. Oh, oh, change ups usually get guys out in front, but he was able to stay back, recognize it, and drive it for a base hit. So now Carlos Santana, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw on to first is in time. The Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this. Settling in now, Carlos Gomez. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Second inning begins with a slider that misses here. It's 1-0. and And Gomez not biting on that one either. It's 2-0 and now. Well, he's not proving that he can command his breaking ball in the zone right now. And until he does, there's no reason to bite on it. 3-0 and to him now. The 3-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, he got away with that one right there. If he's going to live up there, spinning it up top of the zone, he's going to get hurt. And the count will be full. Two, one more time. Three. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Up next for the Rays, Brad Miller. Second First one. delivery to him on Brad the way. Miller. Yeah. There's a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's gone two for five. The windup and the 0-1. Swing and a little tapper. But that one rolls foul. Here it comes, 0-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this shot. 
leading off the inning, Michael Franco. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. It's a solo shot here for Michael Franco. And the Phillies have cut the lead in half. It's now a two to one game. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Coming to the plate now, J.P. Crawford, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Alfaro gets his lead at first, nobody out. Bullet back up the middle. Kiermeyer is there and he has it for the first down. Batting ninth. Edgar. Aaron. The pitcher, Aaron Nola, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Here's the first pitch to him. This is flared out towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Now batting. Center fielder. Odubo Herrera. Here's the center fielder Odubo Herrera. Second at bat here. He reached via a single to lead off the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot. But that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. We've played two. It's the Rays two and the Phillies one. Stepping up now, Matt Andrees. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Owen won the count. A ball and a strike to the Rays pitcher. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Two and two count, here it comes. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Hernandez onto the grass. He's there and records the first down. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Second at bat for him. And remember, he let off the ball game with that home run to get this offense going. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2 0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. 3 and 0 now. A 2 to 1 score here as we play inning number 3. Hey. Taking all the way, it's 3 and 1 now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well of fourth time. I'd be looking at him. Under it is Franco and that's out number 2. Left fielder number 2, Denard Span. So bases are empty here with two gone 
And standing fourth is the left-handed hitting Denard Span. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Franco in foul ground. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. They lead it two to one. Up next will be Nick Williams. Over one for him here in this one. Right fielder. Williams. First offering on its way. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. And that's the first out. Now batting, second baseman, Pinkoff Hernandez. Digging in for his second at bat, Cesar Hernandez. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's Hechevarria at shortstop. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting, left fielder, Reed Hoskins. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. First delivery to him on the way. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two-out double. Just an absolute laser that time, screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Here's Carlos Santana now. Tapper up the line. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilson Ramos. We begin the top of the fourth. Wilson Ramos. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land foul, shy of the wall. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled off. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. 0-2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Herrera is right there, one down. Now batting, first baseman, C.J. Crone. Riding in once again, C.J. Crone. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. That's a Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Slider right over the middle taken for a strike. In there one and two now. Hey you think back to the early innings right there you thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. There's a swing and a drive and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly a no doubt home run. So a solo shot here to left center field is second of the game and it's given the Rays a three to one lead. Well we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts guys. Matty V this is kind of a mini home run derby deal ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Nope. Both were super confident and it's coming to fruition today. The one one home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And he'll pull into second with one away. 
hey, with two strikes right there, he's trying to run that ball up and uh, in to try to tie him up, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah, in today's game, everybody's fighting so hard to keep their hands inside the baseball that I think a non-executed pitch on the inner half, Dan, is exactly what the batter's looking for, something he can keep his hands inside and just fist to the opposite field. On to first, and there were two down. The batter, number 13, second baseman. Brad Digging in for his second at-bat, Brad Miller. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 0-2, the count to Miller. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. Line to shortstop. He's there to make the play, and that ends the inning. One for the Rays on the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now three to one, Tampa. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's Hechevarria at shortstop. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Up next for Philadelphia, Patrick Jorge Alfaro. Ready for another chance? Jorge Alfaro, one for one after a single this first time up. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Ani pops it up. Prone in foul ground. And that's going to land foul. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to keep them down. That was a missed opportunity. And there are two away now. Now batting, the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball to his right, Miller. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Phillies down in order, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Here's Echeverria now. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Chopped foul at the plate here, and it's 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. The 0 2 delivery. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, about two eight? strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Here, Mark. Now here's the pitch. Eight. Right down Broadway that time, strike one. Oh man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down. 
two to go. And Franco will make the catch to retire the side. Rays go in order one two three as the lead remains three to one. Your attention please. Now pitching for Tampa Bay. Number 22. Chris Arch Next to hit will be the pitcher Aaron Nola. Things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hey boys although I'd love to get all over this offense for underachieving let's tip our cap to this pitching staff right here. They've been able to execute working all four quadrants and keeping this team totally off balance. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he fights him off here to foul this one over toward the right side, and it'll remain 0-2. Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North-south. Pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone or below it. The next 0-2. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now batting. Center fielder. Odubel. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Odubel Herrera, one for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch of the at bat. And it's fouled away. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Pop straight up. Archer with a little do it yourself play, and there are two down. Now batting. Right fielder. Digging in once again, Nick Williams. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fly ball right down the line and left. On the move is Span. And they can't run it down. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. One run, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summerskill at third, and he says no swing, so it's ball one. Archer gets the sign, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. Slider whiffed on for strike three, a great pitch to put an end to the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Score holds, it's three to one. Ready for another shot now. Denard Span. He flew out in his last at bat. Number two. Denard Span. First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Popped him up. Franco on the move. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The catcher number 40, Wilson Ramos. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. First pitch of the at bat. And he fouls this one off. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. 
C.J. Crone will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. And he gets ahead 0-1. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. And he falls behind 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here's another 0-2 takes this the other way to right and another base hit for him now three for three in this one well you see that happen quite a bit at the big league level Dero breaking ball up and away hard slider up Man. out of the zone hit for a bullet for a base hit yeah Dan you try and look for it to pop out above the pitcher's hand that usually signifies that it's going to be something breaking that was actually a slider so nice job by the offensive player not only recognizing it but not trying to do too much one and oh the count. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a called strike two. The one two is laid off for ball two. Hard hit ball to second, and that's in there, base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, after back-to-back -back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate, a crooked number going on the board. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Curve ball stays a little high that time. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Two balls and two strikes to Carlos Gomez. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rays strand a pair, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Anthony Banda is going to come on now as he's already up to 10 appearances here in the spring. Cesar Hernandez will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. First delivery to him on the way. Here's Echeverria at shortstop. Reined in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Digging in and looking for more. Reese Hoskins. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Hopped up. Ramos moving to his left. Two down. The first baseman, number 41, Carlos Santana. So now Carlos Santana. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Miller is there. On to first, and can you believe it? A three pitch. Phillies down in order. They still trail it here, three to one. Back here on MLB Network. We're in the seventh with the Rays out in front, and let's get you caught up with our game summary for the first six Maybe innings. Digging in to try it again. Brad Miller, Miller. over two for him to this point. And that's in there for a strike. Rip down the line. And this is past him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. 
And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Here's Echeverria now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Fouled away. Another 0-2 coming. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. One ball, no strikes to count. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. A ball and two strikes. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. The count now at two and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Here's another two-two. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. What we're seeing here is a really smart at-bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Kevin Kiermaier. Joey Wendell will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Trying to entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Fouled off. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Crawford waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time here in the Sunshine State. The Rays are out in front, three to one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rays, number 59. Now Justin Williams field. is into the number ball game now as he assumes duties in center Justin field. Williams. Michael Franco will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The batter, catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Into the box, Jorge Alfaro. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Miller backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now batting the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. No hits to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. 
finally a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Aaron Altair will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 23, Aaron Altair. Pitch is popped up. Miller is calling for it, and that retires the side. Philly strand one, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Jake Bauer is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Jared Eichhoff is out from the bullpen now as he'll work in his third game so far this spring. High strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny D, I don't know what your thoughts are, D Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this. It's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. And they did damage with it. Rob Refsnyder move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And that's dead center for strike one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And it's fouled away. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Behind 0-2 now. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he fouls this one off. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. High pop-up. Hernandez is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays, and it's still 3-1. to one. Jake Bauer will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Now playing left field, number 70. Chi Wei Hu makes his way toward the mound now as he'll appear in his sixth ball game of the spring. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Up next will be Nick Williams. Line drive base hit. Boy, d -Roll, when you're starting to swing it like this team, this doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, 
they're being taught to throw strikes early and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes and they're jumping all over him. Number Scott four. Kingery will get a chance to swing Kingery. the bat here and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Oh it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play. Echeverria for one and that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Coming on as a pinch hitter is a tough spot to be in but that's the last thing you want to do when your skipper calls on you. Not going to be happy about that. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product Reese Hoskins and with men on base and two away it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward the siding. Meanwhile this ball gets down it's a base hit. Scoring is the runner from third and that'll cut the lead down to one. Boy that's a big pick me up right there after the ground ball double play that runner at third could have been stranded big and I mean big two out base hit. Yeah that's what it's all about picking up your teammates right there. You know after grounding into a double play you watch your teammate go back to the dugout dejected costing his team two outs and you find a way to bail him out. Nice piece of hit. Andrew Knapp will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Liner towards second. A diving try but it's through into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Pitcher's got to stay on his toes right there. You never know if in this lineup is going to pull out the old ambush. Knock to right right there. In now, Michael Franco gets a small piece near the plate. That's a foul ball. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his hands back enough. And this is shot foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go ahead runs on base. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. But pulled in at the hot corner and that ends the inning. Phillies will have to be content with just the one. We've played eight full. The Rays are in front three to two. Scott Kingery will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Playing second base, number four, Scott Kingery. Andrew Knapp will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Willie Optimus will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit, leading things off here. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. The 1-0. Fouled away. The 1 1 home is taken for strike two. The 1 2 is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up. But as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone! Into the box now, Brad Miller. The batter number three. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's working on a one for three thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes.
Ready with another 0-2. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location. But he threw that all out the window to get that strike out. He offered the same pitch three times in a row. So I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Franco shading to his right. And that's the third out. So one run on one hit, which was the home run. No errors and no one left on base. Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9 due up in the bottom of inning number 9. Tampa Bay leads this one 4 to 2. Willie Optimus is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number 29. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Sergio Romo comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Striding in to start the ninth, Jorge Alfaro, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. The batter number two, shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Stepping in and ready for another shot, J.P. Crawford. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. One out, nobody on. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Romo rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Now batting. The pitcher, Jared Icon. Number 24. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 24. Now a swing and he pops him up. And this should do it. And that'll get down for a base hit. So Odubel Herrera will get a chance to bat following the two out base hit. That fires me up right there. What a clutch AB. A two out single to get the tying run to the plate. That's all you can ask for. Here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera. Popped him up. But this will land untouched. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Here's a look over to first. And he's back in standing. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Scooped up on the backhand. On to first, and that's your ball game. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Four to two, the final score today. The Tampa Bay Rays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Matt Andrees gets the W on the mound. Aaron Nola takes the loss despite working seven strong innings. So that'll just about.